You want to beat the zone down the floor if you can. Attack the gaps either by dribbling, beating two fists of the zone, penetrating, or, or making two people guard you, or by passing the ball into the gap area, the high posts, short corners, finding gaps. Use ball fakes and shot fakes to, to make the zone shift and throw it back or misdirect the zone. You want to play from behind the zone, behind the players, and flash and fill from behind. You could screen the zone. You could screen the top of the zone. You could screen the bottom of the zone. You could screen the wing and have players cut from the wing to the high post. You could screen the top of the zone. You can do various different things to distort the zone by screening it. You can ball screen it. Last, one of the other ones you can do is you, you want to beat this. A lot of people will tell you, move the ball faster than the zone can react. And another way is you can move players to distort the zone by, a, by overloading it, putting them into certain spots on the court. And then you can take advantage of the zone by your alignment or by running sets. Concepts versus structure. Do you give your players freedom? Use concepts. Do you... And what I mean by that is, are you talented? If you are talented, I would give your team and your players a little bit more freedom to make plays. So if you have five players, four or five players that are of equal of ability, I'd probably be doing more concepts and movement and, and having people flash and fill in various zone attack spots via mid post, short corner, high post. I wouldn't just be stationary. I'd have people flashing and moving. So it makes it really hard for the defense. If you're not talented and you have one or two playmakers, then you're probably going to have to get the ball into those players' hands more often. More often. So you'll need more structure and continuity in that aspect. So those are two questions I have had for you guys on using concepts versus using structure. So we're gonna talk about alignment. So one alignment that will work versus basically all zones is the one four alignment. And the left diagram here is a one four versus a two three. So you're putting two players at the elbows, two players at the wings, and it's making the defense have to decide how they're gonna guard that. Same thing with the one, two, two, one, three, one. I mean, I'm sorry, a one, one, three on the third diagram and a one, three, one. Hubie Brown quote, you do not need great movement if you have great alignment. Hubie Brown was a big component of the one, four high zone attack. And we're going to see some of that here 